All right, welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. The big stick um, no, has been um, wielded, and a whole lot of um, political appointees um, have been resigning. You know, those who said they will not resign eventually, you know, have resigned. Uh, let's just talk about it for a bit. Uh, we have um, a public affairs analyst, uh, Open Abor Inko Tara, joining us yet again to look at um, all of the issues. Open Abor, thanks for staying with us. It's my pleasure, always. All right. Uh, you know, when we were going through the papers this morning, the Nation newspaper ably captioned it this way, Resignation Directive, Amici, Silver, Tarlin, others to go today. It's like a long time coming. Why didn't they re resign before now? You mean why did you delay? Yes. <laughs> uh, you're moving from the known to the unknown. This is sure to the unknown and to the unsure. Uh -huh. So you just have to be extremely careful. You have to really, really discuss with your wife or your husband, in summary, your spouse, your children, your dependents, and a lot of consultation. And also, cognizant on the consequences of your answer, because you still have one year to go, a lot of them are imagining what the benefits will be within this one year, pecuniary benefits and the effects of office. That was why he did a quickly withdrew his own letter of resignation. Because he wasn't too sure. He's so clear. You can imagine how many presidential aspirants on the uh, APC platform. And only one person will get it. Before now, a lot of them depended on Mr. President's nod. For Mr. President to say, you are the chosen one. But the man has refused to say so. Mm. So they are no longer sure. You know? And that is the, the essence of the dilatoriness. I call it dilatoriness. <laughs> now, they are going to resign today, those that will resign, because today is the deadline fixed by Mr. President. So really, really, if you are contesting, you must go today. Uh, if you don't go today. And I remember Paul and I said that as far as the law is concerned, he can be resign. And he made reference to the relevant sections of the Constitution. So in GK2, he's no longer a minister. That is the truth about it. Because when I cross check, well, I was right. So he gets also, he's no longer, he did get resigned long ago, mm. since last week. But that's why the ones that are yet to resign today, <laughs> and those that are to resign on Friday, postponed to today. Thinking Monday was forever. <laughs> but it is sad. Today is Monday. We are waiting. Open a bank, you, you seem to be having a great time with all that's uh, you know, happening, especially with the resignation of political appointees. But the question is, you're saying that the, everyone is resigning uh, because of the president's order. This is the, the president's order, or it's what the law states, the electoral act. No, 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 Messi. Messi, this, this, uh, you are still talking, this, Resignation has no nexus with the electoral act, legally, not at all, because the truth is the electoral act is inferior to the Constitution, and the courts have said so. Even the court of appeal that struck down the appeal on technical grounds, on grounds of local standing, in its own bitter victim, acknowledged that the electoral act is in conflict with the provisions of the Constitution, and to that extent of inconsistency, is not avoided. The Constitution is 30 days. Now, the mistake most of our National Assembly members are making is that for any provision in the Constitution, for you to come up with a subsidiary legislation, you must first of all amend that constitution. Otherwise, any of any other law, for London, it comes 
convey or contradict the Constitution is to the essence of that contradiction, null and void. So I don't think they are scared or in contravention of any law. Probably they are asking them to resign. You know, it is better to err on the part of caution. Because if the Supreme Court should interpret the Constitution otherwise, that is the law. Because the next person you will appeal to is gone. So that is why they said to avoid the Zalfara incident and reverse incident of 2019, you better resign. So that all those that are going, that will bear the flag of the party, will be on this slate. That's all. all right. There is no contravention. As we speak right now, there is no contravention. All right, Obunabo, uh, let's just wrap up by asking this one. You know, this um, dispensation, we saw a lot of um, intrigues, a lot of drama, a lot of um, firsts, you know, to happen uh, this time around. You know, in future, you know, for the sake of um, uh, posterity, what are the lessons to be learned from all of this that has played out, you know, the build up to the race uh, to the 2023 presidency? What are the lessons to be learned from all of this to the build up to the 2023 uh, presidency? What's the lesson for posterity? It, it's simple. Uh, first of all, it depends on who is there. This is a novelty. It wasn't like this on the Jonathan, uh, sorry, uh, of It wasn't like this, even on that Jonathan. This is a novelty. I, I think it's as a result of the leadership style of Mr. President. You know, I don't want to say it's my comic. I want to say, I don't know if I should say it doesn't even talk. It doesn't even talk. When you say like like comic, it's somebody that uh, talks, he doesn't talk much, but he doesn't talk. He allows you until the, death, uh, the last day. Even in terms of signing, taking action, the last minute, the level hour is when he has. So, this is what is responsible. A lot of them believe that he was going to bless them. And he has failed to bless anyone. He has kept that blessing to himself. He said he was close to his chest to protect the life of that person. That was what he said. There is no lesson to be left, my brother. It depends on the president. <laughs> come to you to the grave. I'm sorry, come. To... No, there is after to you to the grave, the next one. Sorry, I didn't do math in school, so don't, don't, don't mind me. It's okay. You know, uh, most people uh, are not very good at math. Even math is not so good at math, no, too. No. <laughs> I did my calculations. That's how I got here very early this morning. Thank you so much, Okunabo and Kataria, for being part of the breakfast. We do appreciate your time every other day. <laughs> Thank oh, you so that's much. a good one. I mean, I don't love that. Thank, thank you so much, Okunabo. So how do you think I got here? If I don't do my Mercy. Yeah. No, so how, you, how did I get You run away it? from engineering. You run away from no, medicine. No, it's, it's not. I didn't run away from anything. Mercy, what did you study in school? I love government. And Mercy, that's why I'm, I'm not away from here. Yeah. school, oh. oh, no, let's not even get into that. But you I'm not away even from away maths. from... I didn't. I didn't run away from those things. Did you, it's did just, you study medicine? Why? Because I didn't want to did be... Did you do the sciences? No, I didn't, I didn't Mercy, want to do all of that. I put it to you that you ran away. No. That's the size of so, all we are discussing No, but before we do the science... I studied <laughs> accounting. I didn't run away from maths. And what are you doing here? <laughs> Don't ask that question. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it's my calculations that got me to the office. Tell me empty, about and it. I always have that. Tell me very about correct. it. So, I mean, uh, I didn't run away from Differentiation, integration, correlation. Okay, let yes, me start. That's all right, that's the size away. of the show for today. We'll say a very big thank you to all of you who have sat back to watch. And of course, to all of our guests, we we'll say a very big thank you to you. My name is Justin Akadonye. The show returns tomorrow. And I am Messi Boku. Many thanks for being part of The Breakfast. We appreciate you. If you missed any part of it, it's okay to follow us on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Have a fantastic Monday. You don't know much. Bye for <laughs> now.